Welcome guys. In this video, we are going to solve the projection of lines problem, case 5, problem number 4. Uh, it's a very interesting problem in lines topic. Let's see the question. The front and top view of the line PQ is having a length of 60 mm and 40 mm respectively. The length of the line is 70 mm. One end P is 15 mm above the HP and 10 mm in front of the VP. Draw the projections and find the front view and top view angles. Note down the given detail. True length of the line PQ that is 70 mm. One end of the locus P dash that is 15 mm above the HP and locus of P that is 10 mm in front of the VP top view line uh, PQ that is 40 mm and front view line that is P dash Q dash 60 mm let's draw the known thing first draw the XY line and mark VP and HP. One end of the locus that is P dash is 15 mm above HP. From the XY line measure 15 mm and draw the locus line in VP. It must be parallel to the XY line. After drawing that line you have to give a naming to it. Yes, that is locus of P dash. And, and so its dimensions with proper pencils. Now, draw the HP projected locus. That locus detail is 10 mm in front of the vertical plane. Now, measure 10 mm from the XY and draw that locus line and uh, name it as locus of P. After drawing the locus, now mark the point P and P dash properly. It's fine. Yeah, what is the next step? Pa? Any guesses? We know all the line length. That is, we know the front view line length, top view line length, as well as true line length also we know. But they didn't give the angle of the respective lines. So if you know the relationship between the means, definitely you can crack it. No issues, I am here. Uh, see the base diagram. Uh, hope you may have this copy with you. Uh, if you want, please download it. I have gave the download option link in the description box below. Right. Uh, from that base diagram, you can understand the relationship. Uh, listen carefully. The front view apparent line is having a relationship with top view true line. Similarly, the top view apparent line is having a relationship with front view true line. That's it. Now, what we can do is just measure the top view line distance mm, that is 45 mm in compass and rotate that line up to locus of B. But we don't know the angle. Uh, we need to find this intersection point. That's it. Pa. Then draw one perpendicular line and then extend it. From HP, we have to extend that line up to the VP. But we don't know the exact locus position of Q dash. Uh, please make a note of it. Either you can go with the front view line details also. Okay, now I trade with uh, top view line. You can try with front view line also. That is not a problem. Right. After completing the thing, now 
we have to measure the true line length that is 70 mm take the distance in compass from point p dash make an arc in the perpendicular extension line that shall that intersection is our point q1 dash now name the point and draw the locus line and name the locus line also that is locus of q dash hope now you can solve the remaining in a fraction of time now we have to identify the point q dash yeah uh, we already know the uh, front view line distance that is uh, 60 mm okay that is 60 mm right from point p dash make an arc in the locus of q dash with a radius of 60 mm in compass that intersection is known as our point q dash now just darken that line that is p dash and q dash just to connect it with the help of a hp pencil uh, after darken that line from q dash draw the projectile line okay that line must be perpendicular one okay right and then just extend it to the top view now now i am going to proceed with my front view true line end that is uh, point q and s as we know if we are processing the problem with uh, true line means first uh, we have to make a perpendicular line and then arc that's it if suppose it is a apparent line means first we have to make a arc and then we have to draw the perpendicular line right uh, now i am going with my true line end point so from q and s i have drawn one perpendicular line up to locus of p then we have to make a arc with point p as a center and uh, this is my radius distance this arc intersect at the projection line see this is our projection line okay from q dash we have drawn the projection line the arc as well as this projection line intersection is yeah that is known as our point q that shall be now mark the point q in the top view and immediately draw the locus line of q while you are drawing the locus line the locus line intersect at a one more place see what is it yeah this point is our point q2 name that point and name the locus also that is the locus of uh, q now connect p q with the help of hp pencil and connect and connect point p q2 with h pencil uh, i am sure now you are uh, so happy while seeing your answer uh, finally we need to find the theta alpha phi as well as beta angles that's all bro thank you thanks for learning here you can